guys. Hello. Hello. Today I'm going to be talking about what I packed on my road trip from Canberra along the south coast of New South Wales. Even though I'm Aussie, I haven't done a lot of road trips in Australia. The idea of getting around in a van or a car, not knowing where I'm staying, it's kind of new to me. And so one of the first things that I think about is what do I need to take? So if you're like me and a girl that wants to feel comfortable, but also doesn't want to stay at home um, because of the fear about what might happen on the road, the, some of the uncomfortable moments that may come up, then this video is for you because I'm going to explain what I think the most important things were that I packed as a girl and what, what some of the things were that I packed that I really didn't need. So to start off with, I am going to be talking about, well, the first thought I had is what will I be sleeping on? Okay, where That's am I like going to... Bark and bark. That, yeah, so that was one of the first things that I thought of. Oh my gosh, okay, so we're going on the road, but we don't know where we're staying. I'm not going until I know exactly where I'll be sleeping. Um, so, what did we do? We went to good old Aldi and we bought a mattress. Would you mind holding up the mattress that we purchased for this trip? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So Jacinto's gonna bring the mattress and I had actually slept on this a number of times during um, periods when we, had, we hadn't found a place to live. And we, so I was, the bed I was using wasn't mine, it was provided in the share house. And so we, I ended up using this, this mattress from Aldi, which Jacinto is about to hold up. So you can see it's not that thick. It's not that, I don't know, no, it's glamorous. Like this foam latex. Foam latex. So it's really comfortable. I mean, I, I don't know about really comfortable, but then it's 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 comfortable enough for me. Nice, so like, uh, sometimes I'll leave us good I don't like the texture, okay, I, I, yeah, I don't, I, I, this is, well, okay, this is one, probably one of the, you know, most basic, crappy, um, mattresses uh, that, and also, is, we forgot to say, that is flatable. It's flatable, okay. So that's, a good point because in case you need some space in your van in your car you could always wrap it and you have space during the day we didn't do that it was no. put in the van ready to go um i don't want to be messing around inflating stuff or <clears throat> asking jacinto to do it for me so that that was what i slept on um it was absolutely fine um even on a very hard surface like the van. We actually bought some of those cushiony type, I don't even know how to explain it, um, mats um, to make the bottom of the van a mm -hmm. bit softer. Yeah, that kind of uh, foam cushions that you can find on the floor of, of the gym, for example. Yeah, like, like, yeah. Size. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah, like the gym that floor. On Kmart. On Kmart, yeah, how much, yeah, so that, that was yeah, like, like really cheap, like $12. Like, yeah, like $12, that we covered the whole van with that. Like, and, and how much was that mattress? That mattress was around uh, 60 or 50 bucks. Oh, 60. Yeah, All right, okay. that expensive. Oh, I thought, for some reason, I thought it was a bit cheaper than 60. Um, mm. No, no more than 50, definitely. Okay, so but that's like really a really good price for the quality that you can get. 
because they sell this flat all mattress on Kmart or big W that is just like plastic. So it's not definitely that's the cheapest but not the best option. So um we had the mattress and then I had a um a sleeping bag. Dunno, can you show it? Yeah. Um, again, <laughs> purchase from Adventurage. Adventurage. <laughs> I think that was thirty dollars. Yeah, twenty nine dollars. We bought two, one for it, obviously. Yeah. And um, yeah, of course, like a friend of mine, well, of Siobhan's too, um, lend us this Kathmandu sleeping bag. You remember? Yeah. When we, when I first come, came to to Canberra. Is Kathmandu like a worldwide brand? Mm, not sure. Well, Kathmandu is kind of like the North Face. Yeah, exactly. For us, yeah. So it's it's as good as the North Face. Um, yeah. So it's and it's this, on that level of brand. So that was like a really good stuff, and then we bought these Aldi ones. And you can tell a little bit that you are sacrificing the, the quality of the product, but still a good option, especially if it's not too cold. Like here in Australia now it's summer, so it was like, yeah, well, a normal sleeping bag. A normal so sleeping bag. Um, not too much to show, you know? Yeah, and, and not, it didn't take up a lot of room. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> we ended up sharing the sleeping bag, I think the first night. We just yeah. shared it. Can you fix that, like, permanently? It's a little bit impossible. Oh. Uh, yeah. We'll just get something to balance. Yeah, it. we will show you later our equipment for yeah, the life. Yeah, this we is like improving. We've got a toaster Sorry balance. For this. <laughs> yeah, we've got a toaster balancing the iPad. Um but yeah, I feel like that could be balanced if you just put one thing on the front there and then mm. you wouldn't have to keep doing that. No, I'm not sure. Alright, um moving on. Um I took a pillow. Mm-hmm. Um I took a big pillow. I think I took about three pillows, um which was yeah, a bit unnecessary, but yeah, took a big pillow, just <laughs> normal pillow that I um, normal pillow that I use, and yeah, and and another little um, pillow for the front seat of the van because I find the van seat uncomfortable. Um, so I took, I had another little pillow that I just put behind me, and I think that that helped a lot, um, staying comfortable. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so sleeping bag. Three pillows. Three pillows. Is that what I took? Yeah, just for you. Yeah, just no, because I had in mind that you were gonna use one of them. But I ended up just not using anything at all. Yeah. Um. So. <laughs> yeah, but I I said that you could use one if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. So. So yeah, Audi mattress, Audi sleeping bag regular pillow um tincture we're talking about what we took or what i took um on a road trip we didn't know how many nights we were going to be on the road but we knew that it was not going to be more than three or four because i had to be back here to go to work um and we didn't know where we were going we didn't know where we were going to stay we just knew we were going to be sleeping in the van somewhere on the coast Somewhere on the south coast of New South Wales. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, yeah. So those items were more than enough to ensure that I had a comfortable sleep. Um, so I would recommend taking, as a girl who wants to be comfortable, um, but if you want to be basic as well, um, a simple thin mattress, a sleeping bag, and your pillows, and that'll be fine. All right, next worry I had before committing to going on this road trip where am I going to go to the bathroom okay and how do I deal with not having two hot showers a day those yeah the bathroom no. and the shower thing was 
a massive worry. Well, but <clears throat> we were not lucky because it was a little bit uh, cold in that time. So the problem was that just that because if you no, if you uh, no 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 I'm talking about before we went on the trip. Like as a girl, before yeah. you go on these trips, I'm pretty sure that you're asking yourself before you commit to going, all right, ah, are there okay. gonna be showers? Are there gonna be toilets? These are the kinds of things that I think about. You probably don't as a guy, because you're just like, whatever, you don't really care. But <laughs> I care about having shower and going to the toilet. So um, I'm gonna discuss how I dealt with that issue because there were no showers and I had to use public toilets. So, did you wanna say something? Yeah, just that, as I told you guys, it was a little bit colder than usual because we are in summer here in Australia. So the problem is that if you are on a road trip and it's hot, you can have a, a shower and you don't need hot water or most of us, we don't need hot water. So you can have a shower, but as it was cold... But where? Like in these public showers, if you go to this um, uh, like where the lifeguards are, in some of them you can find showers, public oh. showers. So you can have like a quick shower. Of course, you are not going to feel like in the rich hotel, but <laughs> it's like it's an option. It is an option, but that wasn't an option for me. I had a look at the public toilet showers and I was like, nah, I'd rather just. <laughs> be dirty than use them um and yeah it would have it's convenient to have a swim in the ocean because you and then use the cold shower after the beach um but yeah as Jacinto said it was a little bit cold um yeah. unexpectedly so what I did I tell you what my shower was um my shower was using these Kathmandu travel wipes every night in the van before I <laughs> went to sleep I would wash myself with these travel wipes um, and yeah Jacinto just kind of thought it was a bit ridiculous but I you no, know it's I, okay well I felt like that I had a shower too one day when yeah you lend me one oh yeah I, yeah but <laughs> Initially, you sort of, you know, you sort of, you sort of turned your nose up at, at what I was doing, but yeah, it worked for me. I prefer just to have a quick one and than use the towels. Just that. Yeah, but there there, there wasn't many <clears throat> options yeah. for using a quick one, and even if you don't mind about using the public toilets, which if you're anything like me, you will mind that. Um, it was quite cold to go and just use a freezing cold shower in a public toilet. So yep. um, these Kathmandu wipes, totally recommend bringing these on any road trip. Um, I've also, when I was at the chemist the other day, I discovered these called Fem, um, Fem Fresh. All okay, right. like feminine fresh. Um, <laughs> so yeah. that's just for you girls. <laughs> yeah, well, I... I, I know it's half a try, though. <laughs> I, I don't think guys really care as much. Um, so, yeah, that was my shower. All right. The, um, that was how I dealt with uh, the shower and the bathroom situation. Sorry, I got an itchy nose. Um, the bathroom situation, I brought way too many tissues okay um i had a lot of luck on the trip that most of the public toilets that i used they had toilet paper it was fine um i was hardly ever grossed out in the um in the public toilets uh they yeah i, I was very lucky they were often very clean i only had a couple of moments where i was cringing and thought oh you know, like get me out of here type thing. But for the most part, it was totally fine. So yeah, I brought a lot of tissues and I recommend bringing tissues because you never know if a toilet, a public toilet is gonna yeah, have tissues. That's so that's basic stuff. That's basic stuff, yeah. But all the toilets I went to 
had tissues. I never had to use my yeah. own. Yeah. But the quality is not so good. If you are a little bit exigent with that, they give you these tissues that are like too oh, skinny. That's fine. I, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you have to put like two or three. I don't know what you're doing in there, but yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> they're fine for me. Um, yeah, so um, girls, in terms of the bathrooms, don't be nervous. It was fine. Pack your wipes. Um, to have a shower and pack your tissues and you'll be fine. Um, okay, now, protecting myself from the elements, all right? We're in Australia, there's insects, there's boiling sun, there's cold water. What did I do? So, this is actually some of the most important Important items I took my sunscreen okay this is 50 plus for your face yeah. Um, and yeah I had some zinc as well which I used in the water um, I remember a day when we went to the beach and Jacinto did not use any sunscreen yeah. at all and got totally burnt it was cloudy cloudy but Still, the sun is there. The sun's there. No matter if you are a black guy like me. <laughs> it's really strong. The sun's there. Um, so, and you know what else is there? Um, there's mosquitoes. There's spiders. And I remember one night waking up in the van, just like really, really itchy. And I hadn't put on mosquito repellent. So I take Erigard. And I thought that I would be wearing this 24 seven, but it's really stick. It, it can feel a bit sticky and you can feel a little bit dirty with it on. So I prefer to use it when I feel like there's mosquitoes once I've been bitten. I mean, it kind of defeats the purpose, but you never know when you're going to get bitten. But if I get bitten once, I guarantee you that there's more bites coming in that in that time i have very tasty blood for mosquitoes and i get attacked so i remember one night in the van being so itchy and and scrounging around looking for the erigard the the mosquito repellent and jacinto was saying oh there's no mozzies in here um <laughs> you know it's fine it's in your head but it wasn't i have got i don't know if you can see this i've got all these yeah. bites down my arm i've got them all on my feet <clears throat> as well i've been scratching all um, week I don't have anything. doesn't have anything yet yeah. so i'm bitter again yeah well <laughs> yeah so you have girls you have to take this if if you are worried about getting bitten yeah. um and jellyfish we we don't have this special cream but i got stung for a jellyfish remember that's true and yeah. one of one of my friends suggested that um we take a first aid kit and she thought it was funny that i you know that i didn't i didn't take a first aid kit i just didn't think about that but oh we have already yeah but did we take it yeah well oh okay. but I, I have like in the van like under the seat so oh right yeah okay. well there I, you go. it's a typical one that you have that you never know really basic what I have there but yeah yeah so that was my oh another thing to protect yourself from the elements is a wetsuit okay it was freezing the water where I mean we're Queenslanders even though Jacinto is from yeah, Spain mate. <laughs> um, we're Queenslanders and we were not expecting the New South Wales waters to be as cold as what they were at this time of year. We went in December, it's supposed to be summer and hot. It was not hot. And most people in the water had wetsuits on going all the way down to their hands, all the way down to their ankles because the water was cold. And being, Queens being Queenslanders, we packed a little wetsuit that ended at the, like ended here and ended at the knees and 
yeah, it was freezing. So the next time, because we did two trips over two sort of long weekends, the next time we bought our long wetsuits with us. So I, with, I mean, we use our wetsuits to surf, but the, I saw a couple of people going for a swim at the beach without wetsuits and they were <clears throat> breezing. I could see, you know, when you get in the water and you're like doing these ones and they were, you know, screaming out like, oh, it's, you know, it's so bloody cold. And yeah, you don't want to go all the way to the beach and from Canberra and and discover that it's too cold yeah. to go swimming, especially when that's going to be your shower. So yeah, that that's what I was relying on. I was relying on. And how are you going to clean your underarms on the wetsuit? Tell to the audience. Well, <laughs> I also bought um, I bought deodorant, and I yeah I bought deodorant. Classic. classic <laughs> another purchase from Aldi. Don't but yeah. Brand. Oh sorry. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, deodorant is basic. Um, it's. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I'm sure you take that everywhere you go, but uh, the wetsuits, yeah, uh, get one if you're if yeah. you're not in Queensland, get one because if you're gonna rely on at least uh, like in summer a uh, three two, in the winter I have like a thick one, like five four three. So that could be the best option for the winter. And what what do I have? What's my long wetsuit? Yours is a uh, 3-2. So okay. in summer, like today it's really hot here. Today it's boiling. So probably today we will be using uh, like the short one, 3-2. What, um, the short shorts or? Yeah, or? the short wetsuit. Okay. Um, yeah, so that was, they're my... They're my tips on how to survive the elements. So yeah. you need your mesquite, you need your insect repellent, you need your sunscreen to protect yourself from our very, very strong sun, and you need your wetsuit. Um, so yeah, they're my three tips um, on what to pack to protect yourself from the elements. Hola, Manuel. <laughs> All right, girls, so, what do you wear okay um what i recommend is taking no more than three changes of clothes okay and nothing special as well because you don't want to i don't know you don't want to ruin your clothes living you know in the sort of van life um you yeah take three different sets of clothes and just rotate them especially if you're only going for a couple of days within within those clothes make sure you take a jumper okay because it was cold and i i was using my jumper for one of the weekends i used it a lot um uh we, yeah i i used it a lot so um, I recommend taking one um, one piece of clothing that will keep you warm. Yeah. I took my I took my running shoes because n not that I did any running, but just for your basic um, your basic walking around. Um, and yeah, we did a lot of walking around. So I I don't think thongs are that comfortable for walking around a lot. I think that your training shoes or your runners are mm -hmm. a much better idea yeah. and they might not match with everything that you wear but no one cares uh, or as the Aussies do like barefoot I like to go I don't do that but yeah all the time except yeah. if you are going to some national park or a restaurant so yeah that's um, another option yeah yeah so i i don't i don't recommend going barefoot i'm I, yeah people do go barefoot but there's glass on the ground um it's not comfortable 
Um, if you're going to do long walks, barefoot is not ideal. So no. just in case, like if you are doing a road trip close to the beach, sometimes you just want to walk like five steps till the shore, so you don't need any thumbs or yeah, any but shoes. Just that. Yeah, but it can, the sand can also get really hot, and then thongs can come in handy. Yeah, as you can see, guys, we are quite different in this small thing. Yeah, and this is supposed to be about <laughs> what girls take. All right, okay? that's true. That was the purpose of the video. Yeah, that's so, true. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so a pair of thongs and a pair of sneakers. Um, did you did you say? recommend about the raincoat no I, we have these massive ponchos like rain raincoat ponchos it's really good especially in australia when the weather is crazy it's mad and like it comes to rain and then you have to have this raincoat ready for that moment Right, yeah, <laughs> the raincoats, yeah. Look, if it was raining that hard, I would not be getting out my poncho and I'd just be like, nah, let's just sit undercover for a while because um, that's just how I am. Like, I'm willing to be a little bit adventurous and, yes, let's go on the road and I don't know where I'm going to stay tonight and I might stay a couple of nights in the van, but I'm not to the point where if it's pouring down rain, I'm like, yeah, let's go hiking in our ponchos. No. Um, yeah. I'll just find an undercover area. What about the ponchos? That's a must. The mm. ponchos for getting dressed. That's oh yes, the yes. Best, the that, that that yes, that is a very great tip. Okay, so the towels that you get in chain, that you put them over your head. I then, could go and pick it up. It's all right. Yeah. Um, yeah, you put it over your head and you can actually get changed underneath your towel. People use it at the beach for getting in their swimmers. Um, that was really important to get the wetsuits on and off. Um, yeah. So yeah, that- You can get one in the outlets for 20 bucks. Yeah, they're, they're, not, they're not expensive. No. Um, okay, um, I've got to get through the rest of my tips. Go for it. Okay, so. Yeah, what, what you wear in summary, couple of changes of clothes, but no more. Within that, um, a jumper, your sneakers for walking around, and some thongs if you don't like going barefoot. Okay, so that's what you wear. Now, you don't have to, also within that what you wear, when I say a couple of changes of clothes, it doesn't need to be camping style clothes, it can be you know what you whatever you usually wear on a hot day okay mm -hmm. um so that's what um that's what i that's what i suggest so um um sorry it's just, <laughs> it's really distracting um oh, okay I'm, i can see that we've got low battery um yes. yeah and i'm trying i'm trying to wrap this up um Okay, so if you're like me, you're not going to go anywhere without your makeup. In so, the next one, Manuel. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you're like me, you're not going to go anywhere without your makeup. So I, I totally took my makeup. Um, I, I recommend not taking, you know, eyeshadow. Just take whatever take whatever you usually wear if, if you don't wear any makeup like day to day that's great like lucky you but i'm not going anywhere without makeup for the most part um and i know that there's you might think oh come on like you know you shouldn't be like that you should just wear you know show you show your natural face because this is that's actually one of the things that we constantly battle about because he doesn't like the amount of time I spend to put some makeup on. He would prefer that I don't wear makeup. And I know that other girls that are gonna go on camping trips with their boyfriends, their boyfriends will say to them, oh, you don't need makeup, don't pack that. You know, what a waste of room, you don't need it. I'm sorry, we need it, okay? And it is more than okay to take it. So, um, what I took is, this This was my makeup bag, it wasn't any bigger than this. 
Um, I got rid of the eyeshadow because I thought, nah, you know, I got to try to keep it minimal because old mate here. Minimalism. Yeah, minimalism. Um, <laughs> he'll get annoyed if I'm spending ages um, doing eyeshadow and all of this sort of stuff. So, yeah, I took my makeup, take whatever makeup you wear, you know, day to day, but if you can cut the eyeshadow out, that's good um, because, you know, you're, it's likely to wash off in the water. That's, that's one thing. It, is, it can be a bit of a waste of time because you put it on and you go in the water and then you get out and it's washed off. But I just wanted to let girls know that it is okay to bring your makeup and I did it. So if you've got a boyfriend that's saying you don't need it but you want to take it, take it. Um, all right, now moving on to one of the most important sections of what to bring, electronics. Okay, so how am I going to check my Instagram? How am I going to, you know, check Facebook and, and whatever? Okay, or all listen to, listen to Spotify. So, basic, basic stuff. So, this. Um, I don't know what the word is. Like you plug it into yeah, charge your It's not a chart. Well, yeah. Converter. Converter. You plug it into your car, and I recommend getting one with. Is this the one least, with? No, we have in. Oh in yeah. my van we have like. One oh yeah. With two. I've got. I've got the right one. Yeah. 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 One with two cables. So then, when you're, whenever you're driving, oh yeah. yeah, whenever you're driving you can um, charge your phone, um, you can charge your phone, you and your partner can charge your phone. So this No fights. No fights, yeah, so this was great, okay? If you don't have an expensive um, van that's got like surround sound, um, just take one of these, you know, Little speakers. little speakers. Mm -hmm. um, it connects to Bluetooth. Yes, it's not the most amazing sound, but it does the job. It's better than nothing. You can take it then to the beach, you can, whatever you want, barbecue. Yeah, we like did you're cooking. Yeah, we did. We did actually. Well, yeah, Jacinto used this when he was cooking on the barbecue. But yeah, you don't. If you don't have a great um, system in your car, just take. Um, a little mini speaker and connect it to Bluetooth on your phone and off you go. So, how to keep your phone charged when you're on the road? Um, well, you can plug it in while you're driving using um, one of these or if you're desperate, you get, what's the name of this? A power bank. A power bank. Yeah. And this has got um, a couple of uh, things you can plug you know, your phone USB. in or USBs or whatever and charge away. Um, so that was really important. Often, yes, we've all got Google Maps on our phone nowadays, but <clears throat> sometimes you don't get much reception. And so just take the old GPS. Um, this does the job. All right. And... Another important electronic device that we took. Well, do you is this electronic? I, I mean, but I guess it goes in the category of electronics. This light. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! With okay. A hook to hold With it a hook. It was so cool to hold it on Fucking the roof. amazing, man. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> this this was great. Like when it's, when it's dark and you're trying to find stuff. Um, I'm, try, I'm trying to turn it off. Um, yeah, when it's, when it's dark and you're trying to find stuff in the van, this was great. So, yeah, I recommend, as far as electronics go, a light and a way to charge your um, your phone. And a, a way to charge your phone and your speaker if you, if you don't have a great van and that's what you need to use well, um, the for music. The fan was a mistake, okay? I, I, want, I wanted to talk about the, the things that I didn't need to bring on the trip, but I'm not that great at keeping within the boundaries that I've set on live. So I said that I wasn't gonna talk for any more than 30 minutes, and it is now 34 minutes. So oh, yeah. I realized I might need to do a separate video on 
What I didn't need to take um, that just took up too much room in the van. Their body from Andy. Oh, no, no, no. I, I needed, you were the most important item um, <laughs> that I needed. Yeah. Thank you. I'm, I'm an item now. You're, oh, sorry. Okay, you're not an item, but like, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. All right, guys. Well, that wraps up our live on what to pack if you're going on a road trip. Um, if you've got any more questions or if you, or if you actually got any questions at all about what to take or what I found that took up a lot of space that wasn't really necessary, leave me a comment or send me a message. This is part one of a four-part series of live videos about our trip in the van. So next week, we're going to be talking about where we went okay yeah. what places did we go and visit and give a little bit of information about each place so that's what's in store for next week so i really hope to see you again on live and um, if you're catching the replay thanks for watching um gracias por venir y gracias a todos good message Oh. Um.